Santa. Every last sign of Psyker's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh? Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> I didn't even have time to mourn Sayako and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. Hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on! Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was... Spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why didn't you just stay in Saika's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, it would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Look, Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just... Try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? <laughs> we were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if. The next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... What do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. We took over hopes and peace which was supposed to be 
well defended then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma which seems to be incredibly advanced and they're providing enough for every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Ben, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. What? No, what? I... I can't take it. I don't want to live. If it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Shakira, listen. You're not to blame, not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happening. You had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. In the end, it was monarchy that they killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. It's the direct effort. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. What, what was that about just now? <sighs> you were saying it's our fault what happened. That's pretty cool, man. Don't fuck with me! That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But, this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2 Boy's Life of Despair. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What are you going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up, and one, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! Now reach way up, and bend way down! Tighten those muscles! Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours! Ah, doesn't it? Doesn't this just feel great? Being stuck inside this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're that one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. <laughs> Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, didn't I? Don't you think? Did you just fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in withering agony for? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. 
just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! Exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing those exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from de generations to generation in the Empire of Darkness. The power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then. Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up for you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I've got to keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. <laughs> with that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But a new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems... Unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Alright, so, knowing after every class trial, usually there's a place that's been opened up. What the heck? Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Ah, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't know there's anything that cool would be in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. You're serious? That stuff you see lined up there, any god can come by and use it to send a message. Uh -huh. stuck with knowledge. It's all an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! Let me out? I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. What's the name? Alright, let's go. Let's go. I think. Oh, come on. Got it! Makoto, look. The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we've already known about just in case. Without a doubt! Aren't I so clever to think about? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Yeah, so this should lead up to the library if I remember correct. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened up. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Yeah, if I remember right, this is where the library is. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. I forgot what's up here. The library. Oh, there's a classroom as well. It's mainly the library for this floor. <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the library is left an idea. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these books here, not one copy of any of my works. <sighs> Hell yeah, why would we have any comics in the library? <laughs> of course, most fanfic is just drawn, drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I, I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell me nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing! Now hear this. Parents of me, nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than a rind of what contains a meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go! My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. 
Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's so interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that loud. You must be pretty happy to have all these bugs around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic book? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic book books? Young adult? That sort of a book waste of time. Mm -hmm. I've seen what you write in this book. Mm -hmm. As you are, the stop isn't as from any more dirt from. Sorry to tell your true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything, it's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady does doth protest. Oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy act. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, I'm it's telling you! Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honour. Those two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But... We shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years we have been committed to shaping the youth who will, who will one day shape the world. We have a long proud history as an intuition of higher learning and full governmental support. As graduates, enter society ready to take on an active leadership role in every major job job they do. However, HP Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, as some serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no, make no, make no mistake, this is not the end of HP Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issue is forcing our closure has been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now we are awaiting the official governmental authorization to form these cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak Academy had stopped function functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. Perhaps you guess I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hood's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school and all the fuck in this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. <laughs> but I didn't get that sense at all. <laughs> Plus, if the school had closed down, don't you think it would have put been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, the thing it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. <laughs> of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though... That does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there isn't no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple situation. True. But then, what about the other part? This decision is not an easy one to make, but some serious issues beyond our control are very necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end of the people telling us. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? Apparently why the school has closed. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, then something about connection would be a useful clue. 
I'm trying to figure it out to maximize motive. Although I can't really say more until we find more details. <laughs> Some of the words only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. We can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's covered in dust. So. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier. Nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping we could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. But it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. The shelves are packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been leaving neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school is itself, whoever's in charge of this obstacle has been pretty lazy. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. Yeah, we've read that. I think we're done for that area for now. I'm going to still all board up. Let's go see what's in this bathroom. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bag of the blood. It's in the store room. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what this machine would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any tools to check it out. The second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. 
Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been a lot much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not, not be so bad. <laughs> hey Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still... Sounds like a lot of them here have a whole bit of size of you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to kind of get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not that even brave enough to just let you walk in the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to get in the locker room? Um. It's not that I don't want to, it's just. I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia though. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really... Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlock in this locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-book across the card room the next to the door. Uh-huh! However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can go through the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Um, but what if someone opens the door and someone sneaks, somebody else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished for that mercy for the scalable sexual depravity. See, that's a gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yeah! I don't know, like, the best of the Just a second! I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um... Um, no, I think that'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. What, what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would, not, that would get them inside the girl's locker room, would it not? Ah! What? What? No, it even occurred to me. I think someone could be so low, so countless, so fabulous. Hmm? Hmm, okay. Then, how the, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> Fair, so no... So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? You're kind of a genius, right? It's kept my brain at 100% cost. Honestly. I did not imagine anyone would have left their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would like to be held responsible for anything that person might do when they use their handbook. So, um... You know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex course maniacs. You're at that age where you try humping a plastic bottle. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a religious watch. <laughs> but in that case, I would ask you to keep the same close eye on our dorm. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go for a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, it's your hero. You wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass this time. Uh How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea that's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting? Did you anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool and locker room filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Oh, well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse are on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much as you can it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourselves in the gills whenever you feel like it. 
<laughs> Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, her going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, um, what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, what? There wasn't anything what? in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. <sighs> Unfortunately, no. Not by a sword. Hey, come on! You fucking people. What?! Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck. Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this place, oh shit. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. And that's just key, yes? So now we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking doing. <laughs> Now let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you discover something. So then? So, are we done for today? Y yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms till night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I... I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm really good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, but not great, not okay. Really Get into a decent college where I can make a few friends, maybe even find a decent home and then go for it. This is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that man. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination and a perfectly average cardboard without. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to, to head to breakfast. Okay, so let's head to the dining hall. Guys, if you played this game before, let me know what chapter's your favourite in the first game. Yeah, for me, I don't know, I'd say... Probably the, the fourth one's probably my favourite. you guys have known. Pretty good one. I like the trial. Anyway, let's get on with the second chapter. Hey, Makoto. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. I'm still waiting on Biakio on top. Biakio is no surprise. He's strange to talk about you again. Yeah. <laughs> Only Taka. I imagine he was trying to get the king of tardiness off in our bed. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them. But there is one problem, which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on! What the hell is that problem? <laughs> if you, would you please, would you make me some tea? Mm. <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... But why me? Let's see... Your roundest figure reminds me of the coffee shop I used to see. 
Actually, this is fine. I should feel my throat drying out quickly, please. Oh, oh. Um. Okay. I found it on the other side of the Celeste's shoulder, kicking me straight in the way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. My family reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing strongly as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I emphatically decline. You're well, not my type at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of curiosity, basic instinct to act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh! Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What the? Hey, hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <gasps> I hate this kind of tea. Um, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and order some tea. They ask me, would you like some, like, would you like some lemon or milk? Now, if ever imagine that I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet, that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup. Mere condemnance. Whenever, whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers a proper style of milk tea. <laughs> And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed the um, um, I went to all that trouble to make that tea and wanted me to go even further. <sighs> yes, I realise it would be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little that bitch! does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? Yay! Okay, you little picky will bring it out right now. <laughs> hmm, I do love course. Huh? People like... Totally different person just now. <laughs> shit, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> I know there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall's doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But. <laughs> bad news, everyone. There was a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What's happened? <clears throat> It would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over and he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that... He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? I'm trying to eye up everyone. Um... Okay, then. I'll check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well, then. The rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before you know, it's too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Biafra. Where might Biafra have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. So I thought you were going to have a look for Biafra. <laughs> I have... I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my first is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you were in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifu to move faster. Oh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Hmm. Ah, Mr. Naigi, what's going on? 
Well, nobody's seen Bayoko here this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? That's not good at all. However, this little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. To bless this un uh, unserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Uh, okay, good luck with that. If Rumi created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Right. If I'm right, I think Biaki is at the library. Because if I remember to, the last time I played this game, he frequents the library quite a lot. Right, let's go to the library. I might, I might go to the Mona Mona machine and get some more gifts for the blue time events. So I might go to be up with room and see what Gina does. Does it tell you how much it's for the Mighty Mona machine yet? Wow, we've got a water bowl. Come on, give me some good What the hell is that? Like, power food? <laughs> Doll. It's like a bracelet or what? Oh, we got an extra gift. What'd I get? A baseball. Well, it's a bit too late to give that to Leon since he's dead. <laughs> Free gift. Let's see what I get. That looks like the golden gun from Golden Eye. You know, I might actually look at see what this is. Oh, I've got another free gift. Alright, we'll do two more. Torch. We'll do two more gifts and then we'll go and is up there and go into the library. Since I think Biaki is in the library. Is that like a coin? I don't know what that is. I should probably get going. Right. Um, let's see what that golden gun says. I'm really interested in that. Yeah, bird seed, I was right. I can't get this golden gun. Yeah, the golden gun. A replica of a gun preferred by a famous assassin. It's not really. Ah, so it is a James Bond reference. That's pretty cool. Because it's from the man with the golden gun. Uh, Scaramanga uses it, his gun. That's a pretty cool reference. Alright, um. Right. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's go back to the rooms. I want to see what Fina has to say, and then I'll go to the library. Fina should be this this one. She's a Toko as well, that's what I Hey Toko, hanging out with Fina, huh? What's your problem? What, you got a problem with the fact? No? <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone, I'm not going to be safe. She so got scared and decided to stay close to Fina. I guess everyone has a softer side. As long as, long as I'm with, with, these, with this sport idiot, if someone that does happen, I'm sure she'll jump in without thinking and take the falls. Huh? What? Are you eavesdropping? Awful. You're just awful. Get lost in stroke. Hey, Hina, any luck? Nah, it's no use. Keep banging on the door and knocking. Come on, Ellie, open up. Be careful, you're gonna bust the door down. Oh, 
Relax. <laughs> Relax. This is nothing compared to what Sa Sakura can do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know. If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. I, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can say for sure she's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah! Okay, good luck. Yeah, I think he's up in the library. He's, I know during his free time of life, he's always like, I always find him in the library. And he tends to frequent the library quite a lot, so. I don't know, the characters in this game, like, I like them, but. Again, there's some characters that developed really well, like Toko. I wasn't, not, I wasn't really fussy about Toko, but I think she really does develop into a good character. Like, for everyone into the game. Oh, it's beautiful, dude. Hey. So you thought to come here too. Huh? So... If you think about what Biofio was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was it Biofio was interested in again? Yeah, I'm using the magic. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Bayakia? Of all the things I'd imagined, this was definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Ryokia snaps his butt shot and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Ryokia, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> What the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... But what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well... But wait, so you're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> not, it's not often that you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you might have to make sure it's interesting. Hmm? His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke to his face. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Join this deranged and killing game. Damn you! What do you mean, game? That's fucked up. <laughs> but it is a game. The game of life or death, which you can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <gasps> He's right. It's a zero sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? This is part of a game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we, do, what we are going through right now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order, to, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it's a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interaction that fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. If you to succeed, someone else will, not fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resources, only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the, be from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. But that, that, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adapting is so crucial. For those who want to escape one to disappear to this way... Sorry, I'll read that again. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? 
But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. The smile is always just fun. The smile is filled with evil intent. The twist of the face is such a good feeling. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you might lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like you It's exactly what I expect from the show down here, apparently. It's just normal ignorance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you ended up dead? Not possible. I won't. It's simply not possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? As an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you who survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I, said, I won't die. <sighs> keep saying that, but. <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. Him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate efficient prodigy. After all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny. And he has lived his, his life accordingly. Test and challenge are mere ways for him to stand victorious, even if, if it is a life or death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Diopia? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Things are meant to be one. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Suppose that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh! Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> Anyway, let me say this to all of you. We all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their, their best, where's the fun for me? No. That, that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. All our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friend is... is that's so horrific! Horrific. <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in a competition. We're enemies. But, but... You know? What? But what? It's like a force of contra contradictions on me. You just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on! Yes? If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around! Oh, shit, you got bullying people that can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? PIECE OF SHIT! Fuck you. What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such em empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! Okay, you're fucking dead. Just a second! Hold on, just calm down. PIECE OF SHIT! I am calm. <sighs> how is this calm? <laughs> anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate, wa I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the last supper just yet. Dude, shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance, Bayakia left. There wasn't anything we could do to stop him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, fuck him then. Maybe... But what he said, he might not ne necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> oh, come on, you two, Toto. Anyway! Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I w was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all would want me gone. You all think I'm the disgusting. None of us think that. <laughs> I'm you telling just, you! Just don't think, you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is totally out there. <laughs> you think I don't know what but I do? You want me to be gone. <gasps> what I'm the sure heck? the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Oh, hey, Togo, wait! <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. 